What's going on, people? How you doing? Quick post-fight review of Santos Felix versus Anaklev. Um, so yeah, five-round main event. Uh, it went distance, firstly. Um, so it was more of a tactical fight. We had obviously Santos is known as a knockout artist. He was pushing the pressure a lot, but Anaklev, um, he had really good striking. Um, he did hurt Santos at some points as well. Um, he he was sort of cutting off the cage. And it was a lot of a stalemate because it seemed to be a very tactical fight. It wasn't like a bloodbath, all-out war, but it was a very tactical fight. Um, Aniklav um, did do more work, did do a lot more work, sort of with the kicks, the punches, closing distance, um, having Santos against the fence. He did hurt him a few times as well. We had he had Santos hurt a few times, um, but it was a very sort of tactical fight for Aniklav. I thought he'd utilize more wrestling, but he didn't really utilize much wrestling. It was more sort of striking. And keeping Santos at a distance. <clears throat> um, Santos did fire back. Obviously, he didn't go out laying down. He did get some good shots off as well. But Anaklav sort of got the mo more more rounds in, more damage, more activity. He was a busier fighter, so uh, it did go to Anaklav. I feel it was um, it was a bit stale at points, but uh, there was sort of a lot of feeling out process. There's a long feeling period, feeling out period. But Anaklav did actually get the win on that. So I'll give it. So good win there for Anaklav. Of obviously over Santos, which is he's ranked five, so that's gonna propel Anaklav right up there. Um, what's next? I'm not sure. Um, obviously, we've got Glover versus Zuri for the light heavyweight championship, we got Jan fighting. Um, maybe Anaklav faces the loser or winner, probably the loser of the Jan fight. Um, OSP potentially give him OSP. Shogun's still floating out there. Um, Paul Craig is there as well. Probably him against Paul Craig. That might be a good fight. Um, so I'd probably, I'd probably stick around that sort of level. I'd probably even old uh, Vulcan Olsenir. So even he's there as well. So I'd probably throw Vulcan next. I'd probably give him Vulcan if they. That would probably be a good fight. And then yeah, go from there. But um, good win for oh, um, good win for Anaklav. He's doing his thing. He's putting the light headweight, <laughs> light headweights on on notice. And um, the thing that strikes me for Anaklav is that slightly different from most Russian fighters that he is standing a lot. He's sort of he's more he's like Jan Peter Jan. Instead of using the wrestling, he's more of a striker. So good showing for him. Um, big things are next. He just beat the number five. He just beat someone who went to a majority decision with John Jones, so that is going to put him right up there. So he's going to—he's expected a couple more fights. I think one or two, then he's going to be getting a title shot. So very interesting. So congrats to Anaklav with the win. Santos, he'll be back. Um, he'll he'll be back against someone sooner or later when he's healed up. So that's it from me. Good fights. So take care. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And follow me on Instagram. Take care.